In this video we'll show you how to prepare for the installation of your IMO robotic mower and things to consider before putting wires in the ground. The following video instructions can be used for the IMO 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. It also applies to the corresponding EVO variants. For a smooth initial operation, first familiarize yourself with the user manual and the quick guide of the robotic mower. The IMO robotic mower cuts the lawn in random path patterns and recognizes fixed obstacles in the mowing area using ultrasound sensors and a bump sensor. As soon as a fixed obstacle is detected, the device slows down, bumps against the obstacle, and then continues to move in a different direction. To define the borders of the mowing area, a wire is installed around the perimeter. No-go areas or obstacles such as flower beds or play equipment can be excluded from the mowing area with the help of the perimeter wire. When the IMO reaches the boundary of the mowing area, it slows down and then continues to move in a different direction. The robotic mower can be operated and configured at any time with the My IMO app. You can also use the keys of the control panel. In addition to the perimeter wire, a guide wire must also be laid during installation. This helps the robotic mower to find the direct route to the docking station if the mowing operation is cancelled or the battery need to be recharged. The guide wire must be routed from the docking station for 2 meters in a straight line and at a right angle. Also ensure that the mowing area is level and free from obstacles in the direction of travel towards the docking station along the guide wire, 1.2 meters on the left side and one length of the IMO ruler on the right side. You can set up to three starting points on a guide wire, allowing the IMO to travel quickly to different areas of the lawn to mow. You can also use the guide wire to divide the mowing area into several zones. For example, Zone A and Zone B can be approached separately according to your mowing plan. Please note that at least one guide wire must always be installed. If you own an IMO 3 or 4, you can only install one guide wire. If you own an IMO 5, 6, 7 or an IMO EVO 3 or 4, up to two guide wires can be installed. With EVO models 5, 6, and 7, this increases to a maximum of three guide wires. Guide wires makes it also possible to guide the IMO through confined areas, where the minimum distance between the perimeter wires of 2 meters cannot be achieved. Before installing the IMO, you should draw a sketch of the garden and measure any confined areas to ensure the required clearances can be met. Mark the routing of the perimeter and guide wires too, as well as the position of the docking station. There are different options to place the docking station, which you can select individually according to your garden. The docking station should be placed on a level surface and its opening should face forward toward the mowing area. It may neither be bent, nor may it be inclined forward, to the rear or to the side. The ideal spot is a shady area, protected against the weather, with Wi-Fi reception and close to a wall socket. As a final step, give your sketch one last check, ensuring that all the requirements listed in the quick guide or user manual have been met. Once that's completed, you can then install your IMO robotic mower.